This is Barry from I2R CNC, and in this video we're going to go through certain reasons why your spindle may not be working. And this is a common call we get through the support lines when the users panic, oh no, my spindle's not working, I've broke the machine. The reason why it happens is actually very simple. In UCCNC, you have the ability using the screen, your keyboard and mouse, to manually start the spindle. And right now, I've hit the spindle on command. You may hear the control box click where the spindle on relay has engaged, but we can see our spindle is not rotating. Also on the UCCNC screen, we can see the clockwise spindle on command has illuminated. And this can cause confusion immediately and panic that you've damaged your spindle and it's not working. But the reason why most people get themselves in this situation when they're trying to manually control the spindle is they forget that the need to set a spindle speed. And this normally happens through your G-code when you hit start cycle. You set your spindle speed in your CAD CAM software, it creates the G-code, you hit start cycle, and somewhere in that code, there's a set spindle speed that you have set. So if you've got yourself into this situation and you're worried if your spindle is or is not working, this is how you would simply check. Undo the reset on your screen, and as always with UCCNC and your I2R machine, you should always run the home all cycle the first time you start up the software. When the home all cycle has finished, we click on the MDI so that the red cursor is blinking at us, and the MDI stands for the manual data input, and this allows us to type in a spindle speed. Using our keyboard, we type in S for spindle speed and 6,000, and press enter. I recommend you go no lower than 6,000 RPM, because the spindle prefers to be at a higher spindle speed, and 6,000 is something that should help us determine if the spindle is turning or not turning. After entering in S6000, you can now see that the S set variable has changed to 6,000. Now when we click the spindle on command, your spindle should start. If with a spindle speed set and you've turned the spindle on and it's still not starting, it's at this point I do recommend you contact support and we'll run through other things you can look at. Thank you for watching.